Hi friends, the given problem is evaluate integral 0 to 1 x to the power of 4 into 1 minus x to the power 2 dx. So to evaluate this problem, which formula we will use? Means which function? That is a beta function and gamma function. And which one? You, uh, this is in the form of generally. What is the definition of beta of m comma? And first we read them. Beta of m comma is equal to integral 0 to 1 x to the power of m minus 1 into 1 minus x to the power of n minus 1 dx. Is it or not? Yes. So, from this we have to evaluate this. Right. Compare on both sides. Limit 0 to 1, 0 to 1. x power m minus 1. In place of m minus 1, what I have? 4. So, m is equal to what? 4 plus 1 means 5. Next, in place of n minus 1, what I have? n minus 1 is equal to 2. Then n is what here? 3. Therefore, integral 0 to 1, x to the power of 4, 1 minus x all square dx is equal to, you can write, beta of m comma n. Generally, what is m here? Beta of 5 comma 3. Now, we have to evaluate this beta of 5 comma 3 also. How we can evaluate means, the relation between, relation between beta and gamma. That is, we have beta of m comma n is equal to gamma m gamma n divided by gamma of m plus n. Friends, this proof already we are done. Okay. Now, in place of m, what I have? 5. In place of n, 3. So, substitute in this formula, then what you will have? Gamma 5, gamma 3 by gamma of 5 plus 3. Friends, already we have gamma n is equal to n minus 1 factorial for n greater than 0. Yes or no? n is a positive. Or also, okay, n plus 1 is equal to n factorial also. Both will be same. This is also for n greater than 0. Right. In this case, and it should be a factor, factorial when we are writing means it, if it is an integer only, integer case. Otherwise, gamma of n plus 1 is equal to you have n into gamma n for n greater than 0. Means for any n value, for any positive value. And But in this case, factorial when we will write means if it is a positive integer, z plus case. Right, anyway, you see. Five fact, gamma 5 is nothing but what you can write? 5 minus 1 means 4 factorial. Gamma 3 is nothing but 3 minus 1 means 2 factorial. This is 8. Gamma 8 you can write 7 factorial. Okay, if you simplify this, you see, 4 factorial into 2 factorial, 2 factorial I can write directly 2. The 7 factorial, I can split like this, 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 factorial. So, 4 factorial and 4 factorial getting cancelled. 2 1s are 2, 2 3s are 6. So, 1 by, here 15 times of 7 is nothing but 1 0 5. So, the value of integral 0 to 1, x to the power of 4 into 1 minus x square dx is equal to how much? 1 by 105. So, to evaluate this problem, these type of the problems, next we are going to solve. Remember, if this is, if you are compared the given problem with a beta function, then you have to simplify this one by the relation of beta of m comma n also, in general. Sometimes, they will ask in the problem, in place of evaluation, okay, let it be, what they will ask means, prove that this is equal to beta of 5 comma 3 also, they will ask. If beta 5 comma 3, if they are asking, then up to that only enough to prove. But if they are uh, giving totally evaluate, evaluate is nothing but we need to use the relation between beta of m comma n and we have to solve. Okay. Next, uh, we will discuss the similar problem that is, you see, integral, one second. Second problem is integral 0 to 2 x square by square root of 2 minus x dx. This one also we are... Uh, evaluating by using the relation between beta and gamma. Okay. Watch the next video.